Just the Tip Tuesday here again, one o'clock Pacific time, like I do every week. I am covering right now what I'm calling new rules for relationships. Um, this is all content that's out in my new book, which is called um, Sex Without Stress, actually available on Amazon now. And I'm walking you through a bunch of the content every Tuesday to try to share this. So one, the rule I'm gonna talk about today is that it's time to admit that we can read our partners. Uh, there is actually a, an extensive um, network of part of our brains that's built for reading each other. Uh, tone of voice, facial expression, body language, all kinds of data that our brain is, is wired to read. You know, from the primitive parts all the way through the prefrontal cortex. This is an elaborate system. <laughs> Sorry. Broadcasting live from Seattle, this is what happens. We'll let the sirens uh, settle down here for a second. Hopefully they'll go by quickly. The excitement in my office, this is why I don't record my podcast here. Um, anyway, there's an elaborate system in our brain meant to read each other, to take in each other's motivations, desires, reactions, you know. And if you think about it, in a lot of ways, this is clear. I mean, I hear from clients all the time, you know, I don't, uh, you know, examples of how this looks, right? I don't bring up sex because I can tell he's distracted or stressed from work. Um, I can tell she's tired or annoyed with me. Uh, you know, we're, this kind of data is available to us all the time and we're reading each other's moods. We're reading each other's, I mean, almost reading each other's thoughts, maybe not with that much specificity, but we have a really good understanding of who our partner is, how they respond to things and what they want and don't want. And we use that on a regular basis. So most of us will acknowledge that we can read our partners when we're talking about why we don't initiate sex or what makes us initiate sex or what, you know, in ways that are easy to acknowledge. But the thing is that that stuff's going on with things that we don't know, want to acknowledge too. So the idea of saying, I didn't know that was going to upset you, or I didn't know that's what you wanted, or I didn't think it would really bother you if I did X, Y, or Z, for the most part, it's not truthful. We have that information, we can read our partners, and we tend to hide the fact that we can do that. Um, or we tend to mask our own minds, like we try to, to prevent our partner from gathering the data that they would normally get. All of this is sort of gamesmanship around our ability to read each other. So my rule for a relationship is to basically stop doing that, be overt. Let your partner read you, acknowledge that you can read your partner, some of the truths behind that are gonna be a little bit ugly, but you're better off having that out on the table and dealing with the reality of it and being upfront with each other. That's actually grounds for more respect and certainly for more productive relationship if you do that. I'm Jessa Zimmerman. I'm a sex therapist and couples counselor in Seattle. I broadcast every week at one o'clock Pacific um, in my free Facebook group. It's called Sex, Intimacy and Relationships. If you want to join the group, you can find a link at seattlecouplescounselor.com slash community. That's a lot of C's. I look forward to seeing you here um, or on YouTube if that's where you're watching this. Thanks.